So diversity and inclusion is important to me because in the country we live in, we have an unfortunate history of discrimination and racism that have left certain populations kind of out of the medical field and out of healthcare in general. And we still see how those forces affect us through health disparities, economic disparities, housing disparities, all those kind of things. My name is Dr. Kujo Wusu Chow. I'm a first year resident with orthopedic surgery. As a medical field, we need to take the opportunity to, to uh, combat those forces that are causing uh, disparities between different populations within our communities. So one program I'm involved in um, is called the Coalition of Black Physicians, and it's something we're starting up along with the Office of Diversity as a way to uh, look at every department within the, uh, within the school and uh, bring them together to increase recruitment and retention of minority physicians. And we're trying to get the most talented and the most uh, clinically excellent physicians from every field into the fold. I think Duke is a great place to learn and to train just because of the diversity in the community is so much you can learn from from the people around you. There's a, a large amount of support, you know, especially within the School of Medicine, um, for minority and uh, diverse students to uh, kind of come up and be optimized in terms of their potential moving forward. There's a long history of mentorship and you know, excellent uh, networking that you, can, that you can take part of here at Duke. And on top of that, Duke has such a wide amount of resources that anyone can take, take part in. Um, so it just creates such, such a great opportunity for anyone who's training. And we have a history of having several uh, African-American chairs of departments. And right now, Dr. Hayward Brown is representing uh, OBGYN. Um, I think as we move forward, we'd like to see more of that. And um, I think mentoring from every level, from the undergraduate medical level to residency to fellowship, and, and then until, you know, starting as faculty, that will kind of increase the pipeline of people going up to the highest levels within the hospital.